In this video we're going to take a look at how to build your own Brighton Rock guitar solo. Uh, recently just uh, covered or recovered uh, the um, studio version from 1974. But the actual history of the Brighton Rock uh, solo goes right back uh, to the days with Brian May with Smile. It was originally an extended guitar solo as part of the Son and Daughter song, which never made it on uh, the Queen debut album, but then became part of Brighton Rock. We think we've got the studio version, and then you've got the 1974 Rainbow versions, the 1975 Audion versions, and Live Killers came out, and there was a extended solo on that. We've got um, the Live at Wembley 86, we've got Montreal 81, Budapest, and then really it just seemed to go on even at the Olympic Games at London, which I can't remember the year of. Uh, Brian May played the Brighton Rock solo then. I know when I saw them live, uh, they incorporated a little bit of their Last Horizon in there, so it has many different forms. If you do a, a, a lesson for one of the versions, there's always somebody asking for a different version of it. So over the past couple of years quite compiled quite a lot of you know the live killers version i think i did well i don't think i did i did uh there was the live at wembley version the studio version and uh, there's a lot of different elements that uh, keep surfacing up all the time and it would be a nice idea to be able to build your own and uh, but the first thing you really need is a delay pedal to be like brian may you need uh, 800 milliseconds and a 1600 millisecond delay I'm actually using an old Zoom Pro 4040, which has a, a kind of a ping pong uh, delay. Which I quite like the sound of. It's actually broken at the minute, some buttons not working, but uh, it seemed to work quite nicely with this one. Uh, I just played, you know, off the top of my head, something uh, that I think you could use. And we're going to look at a few bits and pieces of different ideas and especially for Susan Ermish we're going to look at playing a twinkle twinkle little star which on our first guitar lesson that's what she said she could play she's now playing Brighton Walk oh, Brighton Walk Brighton Rock Wembley 86 now so she's come a long way but we could incorporate twinkle twinkle little star into it now one of the first uh, when I played it through was this idea of going from here to B flat now on Wembley 86 he kind of does the volume swell kind of coming and going up the chords which is a nice idea I've used the A the B flat and with them delays it's got like I'm just playing the like a chord it's got a massive sound now one of the ideas I like which is from the live killers which he goes which is quite a simple idea on the F sharp the, the fourth fret of uh, the D second fret the fourth you can get quite a bit of a rhythmic thing going on there now there's two versions of this live killers and there's Wembley where he does this Every time he does, he does it slightly differently. But what I've got is like this. We hit the fourth fret there of the D, and then you're kind of climbing up. So you've got that. Which I quite like. And sometimes picking wise, uh, it can be a bit awkward. We messed it up there a little bit. Uh, but work on that one. And it's because it's good. Uh, obviously when you've got the delays on, as soon as you hit something, if you make a mistake, I think it keeps repeating it. Um, like three times. But that and sometimes if you accidentally hit it just relax and, and let 
let it just fade out then come in with something else now I did it in A minor on live killers it's in B minor where we've got this Now that's fairly simple, like an A, just running through the A minor scale. And that sounds pretty epic, just running through like staccato style without any real rhythm. He adds a little bit, which gives it that little. Which is a nice thing to add on, and you can in court, I've done it in that key. If you want to check out to play the, the original versions, I've done lessons on these, I'll put a link in the, in the description. Now, when live at the Rainbow, uh, no, I think it's the Odeon, it's been a while since I've listened to it. Uh, I think uh, Brian and Court Rich, Three Blind Mice, in it. Now, I'm not copying them, I've just off the top of my head worked out Three Blind Mice. Um, like a nursery rhyme kind of thing going on and you can incorporate anyone you want I mean, there's millions of nursery rhymes but <laughs> when you're finishing on there you could finish on it which then would take you to something else but that's i put the guitar tab on the screen and that works quite nicely because it harmonizes and for susan uh, who originally a first lesson about two years ago i asked her what she'd learned and she said twinkle twinkle little star and i was like mm, uh, right um and i've always said i wouldn't teach anybody twinkle twinkle little star out of um principle but it actually works well as part of the brighton rock solo if you wanted to add a bit of humor into the thing <laughs> which is really simple, as you can see on the guitar tab. And it's a good thing, because when you hit them chords, it sounds massive. Now from live at Wembley 86, there's a nice little way he's basically doing chords. And as you can see on the guitar tab. And again, sounds really, really big. Just that D shape on the 16th fret. 14th fret, 12th fret, 10th fret, doing that chip, B flat, and then, then we've got this. little run there sixth fret of the high E coming eight six on B eight seven on G ten eight on the D same again on A and then eleven ten on bottom A eight six now again there's another little piece on the live at Wembley 86 one more to it and I check the video out because I obviously uh, do all of it but it's a nice little th thing to keep in mind uh, if you're improvising it or playing live I mean when you're playing live unless you're playing to a, you know, a queen audience who knows every bit, bit of it if you're playing a you know, <clears throat> non-queen fact why would you want to talk to somebody who didn't like queen but if you had an audience of people who weren't necessarily familiar with it you don't necessarily want a 10 minute Brighton Rock solo you just want something short Subsinct, that's impressive. So you can add these little bits in. 
but just very simply, 2nd fret, 4th, 5th, 7th, 9th, 12th, and the 14th. Now from the studio version, and this is played without the delay, but if you play it with the delay, it still sounds pretty good. So you've got that on the E string, 8th, slide into the 12th. E. Now on the studio version he just does that, but you could add the suspended form and do it again. So Brian May does that with Brighton Rock where he adds like rhythmic things in. Again this bit's not played with delay on the studio version, which still sounds pretty good. got that 10, 12, 13, 14 on the A, 11, 12, 13, 14, then in the 80, G, It's a huge atmosphere. Then again from the studio version, which I like is the so as you can see on the guitar top seventh. Then you're really going up the twelfth fret on the same thing. Even a dragon attack in there, I suppose. And check me notes. Then as you can see on the guitar tab, you like. Picking zero three five seven on bottom A, five seven on A, five seven nine on D, seven nine on G, eight ten twelve fifteen on the B. Then at fifteenth fret of the B and bend up and it sounds huge when you there you go which is like E minor blues scale uh, run and then again in the studio version the bit I like Uh, 10, 12, 9, 12, 8, 12, 7, 12, and 6, 7. And uh, 15. And then that uh, blue scale again. Now, one of the little can find it in the tab that's it put on the screen is this we 
which is that 70 threat high A and then 17 15 same again on the day 16 14 12th to G to the 14th of the day you know the same again Slash F sharp. So all these little pieces are, you know, interchangeable, and you don't have to do them in the exact same order. You can mix them up, do them around, and it makes a real nice party piece. I think if you do, if you have a solo spot, I think it's the best. Uh, there's certain solos which are for showing off. You might think of Betty Van Halen's uh, Eruption. I think Brighton Rock's up there with the standalone guitar solo. That sounds awesome in front of an audience that don't necessarily appreciate long guitar solos. Uh, will probably find this one impressive. So as always, thank you for watching. And I hope that helps you build, build your own Brighton Rock guitar solo. Mm -hmm.